if he fights like he acts, which is comic, everyone should be, he shouldn't be in for a good time. Sammy Davis fighting. Wait. <laughs> I'm expecting a KO. I'm expecting two fellas to walk out with no teeth. That's what I'm gonna see. Bro, when you're fighting, it's not acting. Tammy Davis fighting. <laughs> I think he's been up for this for a while. You know, he's always thought he wanted to have a crack at it. <laughs> Mutter! <laughs> Bro, you gotta get mutted! <laughs> What's he about? 44 now? 45? Oh my gosh, I gotta be there to see you get knocked out! <laughs> oh, this is a joke, eh? You guys, you got. Just uh, swing, bro. Swing. <laughs> Don't hurt that girl too much when you're in the ring with her. A bit nervous, excited at the same time, and uh... A little bit apprehensive because you know I've never, never, you know, never put myself in this position before. You know, to kind of, to kind of see whether or not, um, you know, whether or not I'm going to sink or swim. You know. I've always liked it. You know, I've always liked boxing in there. Here, yeah, finally, finally uh, got around to it. Just be ready, bro. I'm coming. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to do it, and. Um, you know, I think I've trained hard to, to be ready for, for tonight, so yeah, I'm happy to happy to put it all out there. I can't wait to have a beer afterwards, actually, because I've been dry for, for a few one, few months, you know. So yeah, yeah, be a cheap date. Cheap date tonight, ladies. Oh, there's one of my missus is in the audience. <laughs> I think I've seen them fight on TV. <laughs> but yeah, it's... Yeah, I reckon he looks, I don't know, he looks pretty quick. Try to tire him out. <laughs> I suppose yeah. Then we'll need to just wait for it. Come in when the time's right. All I want to do, mate, is when I finish, know that I, you know, put everything out there. You know, give it, give it heaps, man, for those six minutes and just go as hard as I can. You know, this is positive. This is positive. Win or lose, it's all positive for me. Tammy, it's me and you, bro. Let's get it on. Craig, good luck tonight, mate. I hope it's a good fight and uh, I'll see you in the ring. Keep him up, buddy. Take your hat off to a guy that get in. He's got uh, he's got a lot to lose, really. <laughs> well, you got a profile, you know, and, and uh, tall poppy being what New Zealand is. We're uh, we're always quite happy to see someone who has a high profile, perhaps take a fall. Tammy Davis putting it all on the line. He's putting it on, on the line against a guy who's pretty fit. He's been training a little bit more than him, and uh, probably a little bit uh, heavier and. Uh, Certainly a little bit more athletic looking on face value, but uh, as we know, 
Anything? It all changes when you get hit for the first time. And there's a nice little right hand doubled up on the jab there. Tammy Davis, Danny Codling in his corner, of course, the former trainer of Shane Cameron. He's been a professional boxer in the States himself. Bronze medalist at the Commonwealth Games. So uh, he will have schooled his man well. Doubling up on the jab there, Tammy Davis. Then ghosting out of range. That right hand just falling a little bit short. Counter right hand, beautifully timed. Good left hook too, nice and short on the inside. Tammy Davis just tying him up nicely. As I say, you don't know until someone gets hit for the first time. Tammy Davis not looking too bad at this point. And again, just showing good ability to get out of range. Left hook, nice little left hook, and a nice right hand there. Walled him at the knees briefly. Little sharp shots there from Tammy Davis. The munter has got a bit of smack in his gloves. He'll be looking forward to proving Robbie Makasaeva wrong, who couldn't stop laughing when he heard about him fighting. <laughs> nice work there, slipping and bobbing underneath the left hook. What are your thoughts so far? Tony? Yeah, Orm, Ormsby just a little bit tight at the moment and uh, not finding the distance, but Davis certainly straight into it and, and really relaxed. We talked about relaxed fighters earlier on. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. bit of UFC there. Faiz Khan just uh, telling him to watch out for that. But um, I have to say, when he's doing things like that, it's actually just a little bit of sign of composure as well. You know, he's tying his man up. He's not going to get caught short. Nice little short right hand. I've been impressed with his left hook. He seems to throw that quite naturally. He does, and he's got a nice Orsby, short right hand. Nice little jab to the body. Comes upstairs to the head. Probably around you can lock away for, for the munter. But uh, pretty even round, and I think once Ormsby just lets it go a bit, relaxes in his shoulders, could prove to be an interesting fight. We've yet to see Munter take a shot yet. And here we go, we're underway, round number two. Tammy Davis making a good of a count himself in the first round. The red corner, Mr. Ormsby, just needs to relax a little bit more. He's a bobber and a weaver. He's just got to try and get onto his range, perhaps throw his jab a little bit more, use that extra height. And he does have a wee bit there if he uses it, but at the moment he's shortening himself up. He's wanting to load up for those bigger shots. Dropping his right hand there. Dangerous. Again, sharp right hand from Tammy Davis. That one missed, but he's got some speed there. Caught with a counter right hand there. A little bit manhandled, but uh, impressed with the way he throws the left hook after the right hand, Tony. Yeah, not doing too much wrong. I, I don't think he needs to push because I think he's doing the good work on the outside. He, he's uh, found the range. He's found the home for the right hand. And if he just keep doing that, he doesn't have to get into that 50-50 zone and give Ormsby a chance. I was quite impressed with the way just then again, the uh, Ormsby's coming in low with the left hand to the body and Tammy Davis just throwing a nice, quick, quick crisp right hand over the top, which is going to catch him at some point. Just put him off. I know that Ormsby, Ormsby now starting to wind up, using that thick barrel chest of his to launch some power. Yeah, starting to look a bit looser in the shoulders now. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, a fatigue will do that to you as well. You're not thinking as much, and you're uh, going a little bit more instinctively. Tammy Davis, he, he's shown a good awareness of range. See, nice little step back counter. Although Ormsby there caught him with a uh, clubbing right hook. But Davis just stepping back, trying to quick shots, and tying his man up when he gets the opportunity on the inside, nullifying his sort of superior strength advantage. Although there's another left hook there. Well, oh, he just turned his back there, tying his man up. Again, I think he's been schooled pretty well in the corner, told to tie his man up in the clinch. Interesting round, that one. Davis probably landed the cleaner shots. Ormsby, though, show that he can be a bit dangerous in there. Well, here we go. Halfway through the night, Tammy Davis. He's probably got a narrow edge on the judges' scorecards, but Ormsby's a very powerful-looking fighter in the red corner. Tammy Davis, Munter from Outrageous Fortune, looking good with good speed from the outside. Ormsby, though, starting to warm into his work, and he knows he has to do something here. Good to see Munter, though, uh, just not backing off on the inside. You know, he's refusing to be intimidated by a guy who's clearly physically 
a bigger man, big overhand right there, just missing its mark. Davis catch him with a right hand on the inside. And then walking forward, there's a bit of aggression now from both these two biters, a bit of intent. Munter's uh, just panicking a little bit for the first time in this fight. Throwing pepper pot punches. He's better to sit and play that counterfighting game. Lead off with his left hand and just shift around. Good little right hand on the inside. There's a little bit of uh, hold and hit there. Referee needs to break that up. Jamie Davis just dropping his head. Again, better when he doubles up, and that's a nice counter right hand. It's a big battle of will between both these men now. Physical supremacy in that third and final round. Ormsby trying to find a way home, trying to unlock the chin of Tammy Davis. A lot of fights are won by one punch, and uh, Ormsby looks like he's got the power to do it. But... Well, and he, and he certainly looks like he's leveraging in the right way if he lands one. Tammy Davis, though, is continuing to hold up. He's not doing so well on this round, though. He's landed a couple of clean shots, but uh, best to go back and stick to the game plan that was working well. The stick and move, the in and out, where his speed was a real advantage. At the moment, he's quite upright in the clinch. If Ormsby just drops his head and comes off for the overhand right, he could be in trouble. Bit of fatigue starting to show from yeah. Tammy Davis. This, this fight is still very much on the line. Referee's probably going to come in and warn him now. Frustration from Ormsby. Well, he's not happy at the end of the fight. Tammy Davis, to be honest, has probably done enough to win it narrowly. But certainly Ormsby looked like he had the goods if only he could have landed. Quite of missed opportunities. Uh, Craig um, just couldn't get his distance. He had. He looked like he had the power, but he just couldn't get the distance. And Tammy, on the other hand, he uh, he, he did everything right for a start, and then started getting that 50-50 range. And he probably did the right thing on on grappling and, and tying uh, Craig Ormsby up, where uh, Ormsby couldn't get away the big shots. So. Yeah, Ormsby just probably, you know, fairly heavy on his feet. He needed to be set on his feet. Just probably needed just to have a little bit more lightness, a little bit more explosiveness in. But certainly he looked the goods. It would be an interesting fight to see a rematch, actually. Speed versus power. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another unbelievably close fight. rematch one day along the track well Tammy Davis is happy we've probably said enough about the judging tonight I think it's been substandard I think they've uh, they either need to get a set of glasses or just take off the blinkers in any case it's a corporate fight both fighters acquitted themselves well it was an evenly matched bout and it's something I'd look forward to seeing again quite impressed with Tammy Davis actually impressed, impressed with Craig Ormsby as well both of them showing some good boxing skill at this stage in the evening, <laughs> having to strap on their own belts, thanks to our uh, laughing Samoan who isn't laughing so much this evening.